Now I'm going to build a budget variance report and I'm going to use several different Excel functions um, within Excel to uh, manipulate or summarize um, different data um, points from our Excel pivot table. So first off here we have a pivot table um, and notice how I have the budget um, in the row area as well as the data area. Um, this obviously there's something wrong here because the budget is six thousand dollars but then when we sum it over here in the data area it's um, it's a result that's incorrect. Um, the reason why this is occurring is because there's only one budget for maybe like an area or a project or a, or a client but then maybe you have several transactions whether they're um, sales or time entry or expenses um, and you don't want to at for each transaction you don't want to sum that budget amount so you can see if I double click it you can see the budget really is only six thousand so I don't want to sum the six thousand there. I want to leave, I would want to like average it or or take one value. So um, you don't want to put the budget in your data area. Um, I want to leave it in my row area to get the the true representation. But what if I want to sum that? I mean, what if I want to sum that and compare that now to my revenue? Well, that's what we're going to do. So first, let's um, put in. Uh, I'm going to fill some data in over here on the side so that we can use our sum if function. So if um, C15 equals blank, then C14 else, actually B14 else, C15. Okay, um, let's make sure that's right. Okay, that's right. So, um, so basically, I'm filling in data next to my pivot table, and you'll see why I'm doing this in a minute. Um, okay, so now let's put our regions up here. Yes. Asia, Middle East, and Europe. And we're going to put a budget in. And then um, here we're going to use our sum if function. Okay, uh, so first we choose our range, then our criteria, and then the range we're going to sum. So basically, uh, this is our first range, and then if the value in that range equals this, US, then we sum it. So we're summing our budget here. Alright, okay, that looks right. Um, and then now we're just going to take that and copy that down. Um, so now that sums the budget for each of our, our regions here. And now um, we want to get uh, revenue. And we're just going to copy this over. Right? Um, but let's see, our revenue is in this is going to be still, we still want this to be B B we want this we see, and then our revenue is in G. Right? 
Okay. Great, so now we got our revenue, our budget, and then let's do the variance. Then we're going to do that again. Um, I could have put dollar symbols there, but oh well. B, B. Oh no, actually I don't even want to do this is I'm not gonna want to do a sum if here. All I'm, all I'm doing here is just the, the variance. So it's our revenue minus our budget. Alright, and then we'll drag that down. Whoops. Okay, so um, now, uh, well, let's, and let's go ahead and hide this. Great, so now you can see we have our, um, our budget, our revenue um, above our, our pivot table. So now um, if I want to uh, refresh my pivot table, my revenue, my budget, my variance is updated accordingly. Um, so I could even... Uh, um, filter maybe on my region and you can see my, my budget variance um, and revenue is updated as well.